Hola, so today we're talking about greetings, farewells, and introductions, and we're focusing specifically on when to use formal versus informal language with these three categories of speech in Spanish. So in Spanish, there is a code switch that you use. Code switching is when you use different languages or different ways of speaking with different people. So you're gonna use more formal Spanish when you are talking to people in a couple different situations versus informal or casual Spanish. So the triggers that let you know whether you should speak with informal or formal Spanish are three following ones, relationship, age, and setting. So the relationship factor is your relationship to the person you're speaking to. If this is someone you've never met before, you're gonna use more formal language. If this is someone who is your boss or your superior, say they're much older than you, they're your mentor, you would use more respectful, therefore more formal language, okay? So my way of thinking about it is a more formal relationship or a more professional or fancy relationship, that's gonna use formal language. And then the inverse is the same. If it's a more casual relationship, people that you have in your classroom, so they're your classmates, people on your team, people that are your friends, maybe your cousins, all those different people in those different relationships that are closer to you that you know well, you're gonna use casual informal Spanish when you speak with them. The next thing is age. Are we talking about a difference in age group? Are they just a little older, just a little younger than you? Are they a big difference of age between you and them? When there's a big difference, most often you would use the more respectful language of formal. If you're talking to a grandparent, someone around the age of your grandparents, if you're talking to someone around the age of your parents, if you're talking to someone who is 10, 20 years older than you, there's going to be a difference. And you would usually use in Spanish more formal language when you're speaking to people that are older than you. But if you're speaking to someone right around your same age or younger than you, you can use the casual Spanish. So just to reiterate, relationship. If you do not know them well, or you're not close, even if you know them well, you would use formal language in Spanish. Age, if they are much older than you or older than you in general, you would use the formal Spanish. And the last one is setting. If you're in a professional setting, if you're in an academic setting, your job, professional, school, academic, you're gonna use more formal language. But if usually it's somewhere more casual, you're hanging out at a barbecue, you're at your grandmother's house, you're at your best friend's house, then you would use more casual language. So relationship, age, and setting. And those are the main three differentiators on whether you use formal or informal Spanish. Thanks.